Most rivalries are driven by proximity, but the England-Argentina intercontinental rivalry is a special one, and while it was not their first match against each other, their meeting in the semi-finals of the 1966 World Cup in England laid coals hot enough to keep the rivalry burning strong today. It was a match so wrought with controversy, it was deemed the theft of the century. The match also had one unintended consequence. It gave way to the creation of the colored cards we've all become accustomed to seeing raised above the heads of players who really, really, really hurt that guy. The match took place in Wembley Stadium on July 23, 1966, and it started with a quick booking on Argentina captain Antonio Rattin. The call was made by German referee Rudolf Kreitlein. The two met more intimately later in the first half when Rattin got called for a trip. Rattin argued the call, but there was one problem. The German ref didn't speak Spanish. Rattin followed the ref and continued to yell. Despite Rattin's claims that he was yelling for a translator, and despite the fact that Kreitlein couldn't understand him, Rattin was sent off for violence of the tongue. It could have ended there, but it didn't. Rattin refused to leave the pitch, delaying the match for nine minutes. Eventually, the police got involved and escorted him off. However, the police were not the only ones. Ken Aston, the English referee supervisor, came on the field in an attempt to defuse the situation. Now, Argentina entered the World Cup with the belief that host nation England was plotting with Germany to eliminate them. So when a German referee used a questionable call to send off their captain, who was subsequently escorted off the field after intervention from both the police and an Englishman in charge of all referees, Argentina was not having it. After a group of Argentina players surrounded Kreitlein to express their distaste for what had happened, play continued and Argentina channeled their frustration. Despite being down a man, Argentina fought off the English attack valiantly. That is until Jeff Hurst dropped in a glancing header in the 78th minute. Argentina cried out for an offsides call, but none came. In the eyes of Argentina, they were cheated once again. The match ended 1-0 England. Argentina players once again swarmed the German ref with reports that they manhandled Kreitlin, who was then assisted out by police. And as players from both teams started to customarily swap shirts, England manager Alf Ramsey stopped them, referring to the Argentinians as animals. England went on to defeat West Germany in the World Cup final, and Argentina went home with the distinction of having the first player ever sent off in a senior level match at Wembley. The rivalry was set. But the cards, what about the cards? Well, the following day, Ken Aston, the referee supervisor, read in the newspaper that both Bobby and Jack Charlton of England had been booked during the match. Aston had not been aware, and even though it had no real effect on the outcome, Surely a match filled with confusion and misunderstandings could have benefited from a clear flow of information between the refs, players, and fans. Aston was determined to find a solution to this problem, and while driving in his car, he approached a stoplight. As the yellow light turned red, it hit him. Yellow for caution, red for sent off. It was language neutral and easily identifiable. Once home, Aston discussed his idea with his wife, and the two of them cut pocket-sized cards out of construction paper, and thus the colored cards were born. Aston's concept was put into place for the 1970 World Cup in Mexico, where five yellow cards were shown during the tournament. It was, however, the first time since 1950 that there were no send-offs, and therefore, no red cards. The 1974 World Cup in West Germany was a different story, five red cards were issued, the first of which given to Chilean forward Carlos Caselli following his second yellow card. In 1992, the International Football Association Board officially mandated the use of colored cards in all matches. From the ashes of one of the most controversial football matches came the solution to a problem that football didn't know it had, a problem that could only be solved with two pieces of paper. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I got the idea for this one from the comments, so keep them coming. And uh, while you're at it, just print this video out, put it in an envelope, and mail it right to your grandparents. Thanks, guys.